Hi viewers. In this session, I'm going to explain one interview question. The question is, I have the data. Okay. So when I execute the workflow, I need to load 10 records for the first work execution. And once again, if I execute the same workflow, I need to load 20 records. And once again, third time, if I execute the workflow, so I need to load 30 records. The meaning is each and every execution, I need to increment 10, 10 records. So I want to load into the 10, 10 records incrementally. I need to load into target. So how to achieve this? Let me show you today in this video. So first thing, let me import the flat file into the repository. All files. The file name is emptel. Okay. And this is the delimiter. And import field names from a uh, first line. Yes, this is the field names. So I can import it. Next. And as this is a comma separated, comma delimiter. So it's a defaultly comma delimiter. The data also segregated accordingly by column wise. And next. And now let's configure the data types. So this is numeric text text numeric text so let me come uh, no, put it uh, date time and then numeric text i don't want it let me put it in numeric and numeric so now let's finish so as the table name already existing in the repository it will use couple of options so i'm saying replace so now the structure of the flat file is imported into the repository. So as I declared as a date and time, okay, for this flat file, the high data. So all the times, please don't forget to give the format, which format the data is, you know, you are getting it. So the format of the data is this way. Just cross check. See, mm, dd, y, 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 y. Yes, exactly. This is the format I'm getting. See, okay. Now, now save it and already I have the EMP, EMP structure in the repository so in the target so I will make use of it okay the first thing is first let me create the mapping create so the name of the mapping is load EMP 10 10 20 30 just some name okay done so let me bring the source and target where is the source flat file emp del this is the source and then let me bring target emp now done so let me connect it blindly all first let me create the workflow and then whatever the manipulation we want to do then we'll check it up we'll make a plan so let me create a workflow the workflow mapping name is uh, m load emp 10 20 30 this is the one right yes Fine, and let me give the connections also. So this is the flat file, and the location of the flat file is desktop. So provide the path. This is the path. Yes, provided, and the file name is same, and the target is. So, ORCL info, yes, I just configured that info schema into this connections and then load strategy is target load type is normal and let me introduce the truncate target table option so that we can execute several times and the data will be whatever that uh, load belongs to, whatever the load is we are doing. So, the data also belongs to that load only. So, it will be clear. So, now just blindly we created the mapping and the workflow. So now 
let me do the increment so how many records we need so how to achieve this is i will create the workflow variable edit variable create it and let me give a name for this so the name will be any appropriate name incremental in incr incre num i will give it up this is number i want to persist because if i increment that should be stored into the repository and the next time okay that number it should take again it should increment so, right so that's the reason i'm giving persistent so now i want to increment that variable so how to increment that variable by using the assignment task this is the assignment task so just connect it so incremental number this is the one and here itself you can increment so use this uh, variable where is the variable yeah this is a variable and plus now 10 so what does it mean this is a variable so there is no value for this okay as of now because okay we didn't declare anywhere so what is the default value it will take that is depend upon the data type so what data type it is the uh, incr number belongs to is an integer for integer so what is the default value is zero okay so for the variables if it is an integer zero if it is a character then null if it is a date 1 1 17 53 okay that's the values it will take it up so as this is the integer the value will become zero so as a first time zero plus ten so this value is ten only so the ten value will be assigned to this okay incremental uh, number that variable so this variable i want to assign back to the mapping parameter because the parameter va will value won't change throughout the execution so that is the reason i'm declaring this as a parameter so let's go ahead and create one more parameter in the mapping level so let's give the uh, name count rec okay i will give it up the type is parameter and the data type is uh, integer integer so done so done now okay save it so to reflect that uh, ma parameter so you need to refresh the mapping so i just done the refresh save it so now this workflow variable value i need to assign to this mapping variable so where you need to do that so here appreciation variable assignment okay here you can assign the value from the workflow to mapping parameter or variable anything you can do that so this is the mapping parameter double click count rec click double click on incremental number done done so now what you got it you done the increment so 10 10 10 so each and every execution okay it will be incremented now you want to filter that record okay based on the number of uh, you supplied in the, in the workflow variable as we need to filter the records so which basis we will filter it out so that's the main important so at least we need some incremental number you know our record number to be present in here so as there is no record number over here so we need to first okay calculate the record number and then on top of it we can implement the filter condition correct so let's implement the let's calculate the row number for this so to calculate the row number what we need to do we need to introduce the expression so bring all the columns all the ports here double click how can we calculate the record number two ports we need to introduce one is variable port count we can say that and one more output port so the data type should be integer and this is also integer and this should be variable and this should be output so here we can increment plus one for each and every record and that variable value we can bring out of out here in the output port so assign the variable port over here 
So now I can get I'm getting the value record uh, number value in the O counter code, right? So we can implement now the filter condition. So for that to implement the filter condition, we need one more filter, right? So let's ping it. Select all, bring everything into the filter condition. So what is the filter condition need to be here? Whatever that output count, okay, less than or equal to the mapping variable, correct? So let's give it the same thing. Row count always less than or equal to mapping parameter. Double click. So validate is validate is. Now as of starting, what is the value for the count uh, record? I mean that uh, mapping parameter value that should be ten because in the workflow variable in the workflow variable so starting should be zero this value but you are incrementing plus 10 so 0 plus 10 10 this 10 will be assigned to the this mapping parameter and here less than or equal to 10 records only it will be filtered out and let's connect it now and how to connect it auto link by name auto link by name Okay, automatically it will be connected and arrange all so done it save it now let's refresh the mapping that's meaning in the session level refresh mapping click on so that it will be refreshed and now let's exclude the workflow start workflow let me disconnect and connect this Double click and class where it is m underscore 1020. This is the one who just ran it out. And double click on it. Double click on it. Let's see how many records are loaded into the target. See, 64 records are rated from the source, but only 10 records are loaded into the target. So now go back and cross verify into the target table. So refresh, see the count, record count. So record count is 10. So that's it. Okay. So now what is the value for the uh, workflow variable? The value will be 10 because we are persisting. So as if I execute again, so again 10 plus 10 that will become 20. This workflow variable value will be 20. This 20 will be assigned to the mapping parameter and 20 records it will allow to load into the target. So let's execute it again. running <clears throat> see 20 records are loaded into the target and let's go ahead and refresh it if you want cross verify because we, we are using truncate and load so every time it will truncate and load the fresh data so in this cycle 20 records are loaded that's how if I execute again how what is the count the record count will be 30 double click on it See, this is where we can implement the, we can solve this issue. We can uh, uh, implement this scenario. So please practice it. If you have any questions, feel free to give a comment or send me a mail. Okay. So thanks for watching this video.